Well, following the latest update about Kate Forbes plotting against Humza Yusuf, we are now hearing that the dear leader has now completely lost his authority as First Minister. Okay, I think it's going to be one of those days where we're going to have a lot of SMP updates for you guys to so prepare your popcorn as usual. As I'm making some videos to give you guys the latest updates, uh, something else happens and another thing comes up again. And this is now about a collection of everything that's happened recently, especially the last few days. And just generally speaking, the whole saga with the SMP scandals. It's just a bit of a reminder to talk about why and how Humza has already lost authority as party leader and is in trouble. So, first things first, we've talked about camper vans. Now we're talking about horse boxes. <laughs> so the SNP president, um, it, at the time I was in Mike Russell, actually admitted that he didn't know that a luxury battle bus camper van had been purchased by the party when he was campaigning from a horse box. <laughs> So this came out a couple of days ago, and since then, this news has become a bit of a joke on social media because they're saying one issue is that the, the senior management of this political party have been hiding things even from their own senior figures. So that's brilliant. Secondly, you are just giving us more opportunities to create more memes on social media with these horse boxes and camper vans and everything else. But the main point is, considering that they've been hiding certain things from their own people, at the same time throwing some other people under the bus or camper vans. I cannot see a situation where when the whole Titanic hits the iceberg, which will be when we're still waiting for Nicola Sturgeon to also be arrested, that hasn't happened yet, and Humza Yusuf to be questioned at some level. When that happens, I can assure you, I can see a situation where the same senior figures who've been complaining about being in the dark and everything else, they will come out and take revenge. This will happen. Now, there's so many updates now. We've got the police uh, actually now investigating uh, wills <laughs> because, uh, well, the headline said, where there's a will, there's a fraud and uh, a probe when it comes to the SMP. They're going to be investigating the death gifts given to the SMP. So apparently thousands of pounds have been given in, in wills after people's deaths. So that's one other dodgy area that needs to be completely investigated over the last few days they've been talking about this so Hamza Yusuf is not reacting to any of these his authority doesn't exist anymore when you have that when you have Joanna Cherry coming out to cause trouble I mean rightly so by the way Joanna Cherry is right to say that the SMP is intellectually dead from the neck up Hamza Yusuf doesn't have the authority to challenge her Hamza Yusuf doesn't have the authority to respond to the SNP president about the horse box. Hamza Yusuf doesn't have the authority to talk about these uh, wills or death gifts that has been happening uh, over the last few years. Hamza Yusuf doesn't even know what to do about his own policies. So he is now axing his own SNP pledges on universal free services. His own socialism. So all the socialist programs promised by Humza Yusuf and Nicola Sturgeon and the rest of the SNP minions, he has now realized there is no money left. <laughs> Just like what the Labour Party said in 2010. So he's now backtracking and he's making new turns like Keir Starmer on his own socialist policies saying, oh, well, we can't really, I know we are promised to everything free, free, um, obviously school meals and everything else, healthcare. Yeah, we can't really do that anymore because uh, we've been buying a lot of horse boxes. <laughs> so, not really sure what's going on. But it is funny how, uh, while this is happening, as we said earlier, Kate Forbes is preparing not just to challenge him when it comes to leadership, but also she's already apparently, allegedly prepared a shadow government inside the government. So, we're going to see how long this whole arrangement is going to last don't forget later tonight after the polls close at 10 p.m we're going to have a live coverage of the local elections tonight across the country no need to watch the mainstream media because we have everything that you need amaya tusi and we are the media